Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about how to create rigid bodies and collisions. So first of first thing first, I got this target picture image. Uh, this is an image. I found it on, I just googled target and I got the download of the save the first thing into in the browser and I just simply dragged and dropped this image into my texture folder. So I'm going to use this as for creating a target and then I'm going to show you how to use collisions with that. Um, right now I'm going to create a 3D cube and this cube will be uh, let's say it's going to be 2 by 2 maybe let's make it 3 by 3 and 0 0.5 3, 3 .5. and I'm going to drag and drop this target image on this cube. Now, never mind this part, but it kind of looks like a target object, right? And so our goal is going to be to shoot at this object. And when we shoot this object, it's going to react to some collisions. And before also we can shoot anything, we need to create a uh, bullet object that which is a rigid body. So I'm going to create a 3D object sphere. Right, and this sphere is going to be something that we're going to be shooting from our from the soldier's gun. Right now, it's too big, though. It, you can't. You can tell that this can't come out this weapon. So I'm going to make the make it 25, 25, 25. and now it's more like a bullet, um, more like a musket, to be honest. And this is going to be our object. Now I will add component you can add it from here or you can also go to component physics and rigid body now what is a rigid body <clears throat> basically a rigid body is a component that uh, makes the object that is attached to susceptible to physics events and collisions and gravity and such things Okay, so we're gonna need rigid body on this thing for the for, for as part of uh, collision detection. Now I'm gonna put it here so you can actually see. Now if you add rigid body, you can see this sphere is here and play the game. You'll see that right now it's susceptible to gravity, right? But you can also make sure it's not. You can just uncheck use gravity, and now it's not gonna be susceptible to gravity. But it will still uh, hit things. Okay, I'm gonna create a new material uh, so it's easier to see this thing, see this bullet. So create material, and it's gonna be yellow material. It's easier to spot. And then let's make this some yellow, yellowish color, and the sphere is gonna be yellow. As you can see, it's yellow now. So it's easier to see, and I'm gonna name it just bullet. Okay. Now uh, click on prefabs folder, drag and drop this bullet. This will create a bullet prefab. Now a prefab is something that you might want to use repeatedly. You might want to create multiple instances of some object. Since we're gonna be shooting more than one bullet, there's gonna be multiple instances of a bullet, and we don't want to create everything from scratch we want to now this way we have a blueprint every time you need it you can just create it through scripting now we don't need this one in the in the scene anymore so I'm gonna right click delete let's go to the player control double clip script script open up the script player control and add a public rigid body uh, bullet bullet field. So this will actually create a field that will take a rigid body and go to prefabs and drag and drop the bullet here. Now we're gonna have a method called void shoot and in this method we're gonna shoot a bullet every time the mouse button is clicked. So if input dot get mouse button 
down, zero. Uh, what this go is going to do is that it's going to detect the uh, mouse click buttons, mouse but button, when you click the mouse button with the left button. So zero is for the left button, one is right button, okay? And whenever that is clicked, we're going to actually instantiate a, a bullet. We're going to create an instance of the bullet rigid body. So since it's a, it's a rigid body type, we're going to go with a rigid body. Bullet equals instantiate. So this method is used to create uh, clones of objects. So first, um, <clears throat> the first parameter is the ob actual object you're creating. So it's this bullet. And then where do you actually create it? And where actually it, wh which way it faces? Uh, one thing we have to add, we need to add a um, transform. Let's say, let's call this barrel, transform barrel, right? And so this is like the barrel of the gun. You can imagine it that way. So the, the bullet is instantiated at the barrel of the gun. So barrel that position, and it also goes faces the direction where the barrel is facing, right? So barrel dot rotation. And one more thing, we have this is a ob, it, this instantiate method returns an object type. Uh, we have to cast that into rigid body. So as rigid body. Now the bottle, bullet is created, however, we need to give it, a, some, give it some force. Otherwise, it's just gonna stay there or it's gonna fall. Uh, bullet, <clears throat> uh, let's add here a public float uh, projectile or just bullet speed. Uh, make it for 20, 200 for now, we can change it if we need it. Speed 200 and bullet dot add force. So the bullet is going to be going forward, right? So it's it's gonna go bullet dot transform. So the bullets forward, transform the forward, multiplied by bullet speed and a force mode. Um, Force mode dot impulse. So adds instant force impulse to the rigid body using its mass. So this is useful for creating uh, shooting projectiles. Now, unless you put the shoot method inside the update, it's not gonna shoot anything. Okay. Now let's go back and see how this works. Rigid body. Uh, before we can actually shoot it, as you can see, we need a barrel. So for now, I'm gonna just put the barrel in front of the soldier. So create empty. Let's call this barrel, and then we can move it to the towards to the gun later. So it's gonna be 1.5. Maybe 1.8 is better. And it's going to be a little bit further because so it's going to be coming out of the gun, All right? And then choose the player. Now drag and drop the barrel into the barrel slot here. Now let's see how this is going to work. Yep, he's shooting. Uh, he's shooting, but it's going too fast. So I'm going to make the bullet speed maybe 100 and see how it goes now. That's better, right? Uh, maybe even 50 is better. And uh, go to prefabs, find a button, and maybe just uh, make it susceptible to gravity. Let's see how it goes now. You see the bullet is actually kind of falling down. And if you hit the target, nothing happens. The target is there. There's nothing. Uh, being detected so I'm gonna change that later but one thing though I have I want to actually put the camera to higher position and maybe um, 
even closer to here. So it's 10 by minus 6, right? So let's see if it's easier this way. Okay, now, so this is one way to go, or you can actually uh, disable the script by unchecking this checkbox, and then you can actually uh, put the script inside the player. So now this camera is the player's uh, child object, and you can actually, it will actually move with the player. So you might want to prefer this way playing this way. Now I want to start detecting collisions. Uh, for that I'm going to add this a rigid body before I do that. Rigid body and let's see what happens when I shoot this now. You see the target just goes away. Um, I'm going to but I don't want this to just fly away with the bullets. I, instead, when I shoot the target, the target should just uh, go down, you know. So I'm going to uncheck the gravity. I'm going to make it is kinematic. And I'm going to create a new script. Create script. Detect. I actually just say it. Target. Target object. Now, I will call the method void on collision enter. This is a method that is called when there's a collision happens. It takes a collision parameter. This is a built-in Unity event. Uh, collision. Now we're going to check if the colliding object has a tag bullet. Then if that's the case, we're going to just rotate this object. Um, so go ahead and say if collision dot game object dot tag equals bullet. If so, this is it means this is a bullet. Then transform dot rotate ninety zero f zero f, and also we're going to make its position change as well. Transform that position minus equal transform that up and over two. Now let's see how this hat works out. Uh, before we can actually work this out, uh, you click bullet, go to tag. And right now it doesn't have a tag, so add tag and new one bullet and again choose the bullet and now make give it a tag. It, it has a bullet tag now. And this target object needs a script, target object script. So now it's going to be detecting the bullets. Yep. Now it detected, but every time it gets hit, it actually rotates one more time. So maybe do it this way. Let's put a boolean variable uh, private bool is hit. So at the beginning it's false, but once it's hit, it's going to be true and this is this code will run only if actually let's do it this way only if if is hit is false okay so that way you can only hit it once that's it so that's how basic collision works. In the next video, we're going to work with triggers.